A few days ago was Amazon Prime Day, and I think I may have got the best deal for all golfers. I got 36 golf balls for, get this, 20 eight pounds that works out at 80 pence a golf ball even better they are wilson golf balls i'm yet to see them so let's see what they look like in today's video guys we're going to test them out here on the golf course we're also going to test them against the kirkland golf ball which is about a pound a golf ball are these good value or are they just cheap because that is two very different things oh you know what i'm quite impressed with that as a off the bat wilson profile distance what kind of distance are we going to see let's tee off and see exactly how good these golf balls are guys get in the comments below do you like to use expensive golf balls do you like to use cheap cheerful golf balls is your golf ball that important and how good do you have to be to really see a difference with your golf ball right into the wind this is going to be quite an interesting shot i can't wait to test these against the kirkland because i love the idea of saving money with golf balls. Nice low flight up that left hand side, drawing a little bit. I quite enjoyed that as a shot. Let's go a couple more and let's just see what kind of consistency we see with these because consistency is key. If you are a mid handicapper, a low handicapper, even a high handicapper that's wanting to get that handicap down, consistency really is key with that ball flight, not just for trajectory, but for distance as well. Into the wind, we've had a nice low flight to start with. Felt good actually, felt a lot better than I anticipated. There we go. That's a ball flight, which I really, really like. It's not high, it's not spinning, but it's not a low flight. It's not boring down there. It's a flight which, to be honest, I'm gonna have a video, guys, where I show these to a PGA pro. I'm not gonna show him how much they are. I'm not gonna tell him how much they are. We're gonna see how much he thinks these cost per ball. 80 pence a ball. It looks like a pack of eggs down there. One more, and then we're gonna test it for some short game. And we'll test them for irons as well. This is how I want to test golf balls moving forward. So hit that subscribe button if you really wanna see videos like this. Golf ball is the only piece of equipment you use on each shot. Right, same again. And that, we've got Rob on camera today. Rob, how good is that? That is absolutely perfect. And consistency wise, they're in exactly the same place. Let's get down there. Let's see just how close together they are. And then let's test them throughout the bag. Guys, you're gonna to wanna to see these numbers against the Kirkland. 80 pence a ball. Think of the beer you could buy after your round. So let's talk a little bit more about these Wilson Profile Balls because for me, I think these look really, really good for the price. We even get a little bit of a, what would you call that? A little poster, I suppose. So it says that the feature tall accuracy, it says they have spin reduction, and it also says that they have a high energy core and low compression technology. Now for 80 pence a ball, one thing that I like about this is you're not getting boxes and boxes and boxes. Like, you know, we're not, we're not wasting money on boxes. We're gonna put them in this little egg box here. There you go, we'll tell you exactly what they are. We'll tell you you're getting 36 balls for your money. And from there, I think everyone's happy. So talking about consistency, we had one which wasn't the best drive. That was the first shot of the day. The other two are up here, they're neck and neck. You could literally throw a blanket over those. Let's test these for irons. And I've got pitching wedge out the rough. One of the big things you want to see here is how much spin you can potentially get. But I mean, for 80p a ball, is it that important? Guys, get in the comments below. What would you anticipate to have with a golf ball that cost you just 80p? Like it feels fantastic. It's moved a lot in the air that. That's gonna be a green in regulation towards the back of the green. But I really feel like here, the value for money, I never thought I'd see a ball better value for money than a Kirkland. I dare say, we may have found it. That could be close as well. Check that out. Oh, go on then. Rob, give, give him a zoom on that one. Give him a zoom. And that's out the rough as well. Now, if we go out of the fairway, we should be able to get a little bit more control. 80p a ball. Oh dear. You see, the good thing is if you hit one like that, you don't mind, it's ATP a ball. We might try and find it, we might just move on. Yes, that was a shank and it has resulted in a lost ball. Um, I'd like to say it's a rarity, but unfortunately at the moment it's not. I'm not having time to practice a lot. A very interesting stat, 
300 million golf balls are lost a year in the US alone. You imagine the average cost of a golf ball if people are using a Titleist TaylorMade Callaway, but if you're using one of these at 80p a ball, you don't mind just picking another one out and going, you know what, I'll hold my hands up. It's not great for my score, but I don't particularly mind. So we've got a par three here. We've tested it with the driver. I like it with the driver. The big thing for me is it doesn't just launch up into the air. You can get a nice kind of mid trajectory with it. We're going to test spin rates in a moment's time on the simulator and test it against the Kirkland and see just if they can go pound for pound. Do you get it? So what are they like with mid irons? We've got 180 yards on a par three here. We've got a six iron, a tight flag just tucked behind the bunker, which we're not going to mess with too much. But I really feel like if I can compress this ball down, if I can get, this is a six iron, if this was spinning at around five, five and a half thousand, and I get a decent ball speed and launch, what more do you want? I got these on Amazon Prime Day, so they were a little bit cheaper, but I would imagine you'll still get them at a good rate for 36 balls. It could last you a long time if you hit good shots. Like that, that'll be good. How's a one with an 80p ball? That is absolutely perfect. Rob, give him the zoom. You already know what to do. You already know what to do. And the big thing there is I've had good, I've hit a good swing there. So we look at my turf interaction with the tee. The divot's ever so slightly left. It's a nice shallow divot. The ball's gone exactly the right yardage and I'm not blaming the golf ball. If I were to put a bad swing on it like I did on the first hole with that final wedge. Oh dear. I'm not gonna, people might blame the ball. Terrible ball not the fact that you shanked it. So can we get even closer than that? Again, trajectory was good. It felt good. The wind's changed a little bit here. Let's see if we can just play a nice soft one in. That's the same. That is a carbon copy. It was a little bit heavier. I'm wondering if it might be a touch short. No, it's flag high. That's right next to it. I'm going to replay you the clip of consistency, what I was speaking about. Consistency is key if you are a mid handicapper, a low handicapper, even a high handicapper that's wanting to get that handicap down. Consistency really is key with that ball flight. This is quite frightening. And looking at the cover of the ball, it doesn't look like a cheap ball. Guys, have you ever seen the Wilson profile distance before? And if you have seen it, how much was it? Was it 80p a ball? Have I just got the deal of the century? Because to be honest, when we get in that studio, I'm half anticipating this ball performing like it is doing out here. Right, we've got two very safely flag high middle of the green. Let's try and take that bunker on, see if we can get some stop. It's another beauty. I can't wait to go up there and show you where those three balls have finished because that's frightening. The turf interaction was good. There's no sandbox though. So I'll leave that to the greenkeepers. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be impressed with those shots if they weren't cheap golf balls. I'm even more impressed with them on the fact that I've hit three shots into a par three there, and the furthest one is about 15 feet away. Now, I've not tested it for putts. Chris always says when we test golf balls, it's very important. By the way, Chris is the one who I'm not gonna tell him how much these are, and I don't think he'll have a clue either. I better get a pitch mark repair out because the, Rob, just have a look at how they've just stopped so quickly. That is incredible for the value. Like, I can't believe how they've all, they've all come back. I mean, yeah, it rained overnight, but these greens are running really, really nicely. So how does it feel with putter? We've got a nice alignment aid, the distance with the arrow, and it really feels a little bit firm with the putter. I don't mind that. You're not going to get a really soft feeling ball on the greens for that price. But, oh, James, these are the three easiest pars you're ever likely to see. Let's check them in the studio. So after being impressed with this golf ball out on the golf course, I really wanted to put it through its paces against the Costco Kirkland golf ball, a ball which is a very similar price. I think if you don't get this on Prime Day, then you do pay a little bit more, just over a pound a ball for them. So very, very comparable. The balls felt very good, felt very, very consistent. To be honest, I just had a bit of a practice session and kept switching the balls in and out with both driver and irons to see exactly what the big differences were. They felt very similar, although the Costco ball felt a little bit softer and probably nicer due to it 
its urethane cover, which is the same as a Pro V1. You can see the 7 iron numbers, very similar, a little bit lower spin, meaning more distance but less control with the Amazon, and again, less ball speed but more spin with the driver, losing distance. So, all in all, not quite as good. Those driver numbers weren't that good, to be honest, but then I wasn't swinging that consistently either, so you've got to bear that in mind as well. But what about when it really counts around the greens? Can these golf balls save you some shots? So, very interesting numbers there. Very relatable to a Kirkland, as you can see there. Very, very similar numbers in ball speed and spin rate. Spin rate was off a little bit, but the Kirkland for me has always performed within a couple of miles an hour of a Pro V1. So if we're going to compare it to a Pro V1 for 80 pence, you could, you could literally have five or six of these instead of one shiny new Pro V1 that if you hit the shot like I did on the first, it's long gone. You haven't got to explain to the wife, the boyfriend, the partner exactly where that money has gone. What they like around the greens, because it's, I mean, a golf ball for me is, I mean, that's launched really high off the bat. Oh, that's one thing which has shocked me a little bit. So looking at that, because of the cover and the materials on the cover, the ball doesn't get a great deal of spin. This is only a 56, this isn't a 60 degree, but the landing angle helps you. So the reason behind a lot of people getting the ball close to the flag on short game, a lot of it is spin rate, but a lot of it's actually a landing angle. It's very, very calm here on this green. We're surrounded by trees. There's not a lot of wind. So if I try to play this lower and get some spin, you'll see it still just pops up in the air. I've had a really nice angle of descent there. I've got a really nice shallow divot, which I'm gonna put back or Jonesy will kill me. But those balls have run out just a little bit, as you can see. So if you do go for these balls, don't think that, like if I get you a Callaway out now, or what have I got in here? Oh, something with an, here we go. A couple of nice Callaway Chrome Softs. If I try to play the same shot, I would say that I can play that a lot lower and then watch that grab and stop. That's your big difference, and I can't believe I've explained and demonstrated that in one shot so well, but that's what you're getting. So that's what you're getting with spending a little bit more money. Is that worth the money? I'm not here to tell you that, but they are certainly finishing a lot closer than these Wilson balls at 80 pence a ball. I think if you are going to put these balls into play just learn how to play them just learn the fact that yes I need to play it a little bit shorter and I know there that's going to run out nicely towards that flag guys thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it Amazon Prime I think I've got the best deal on Amazon Prime day for all golfers around the world if you agree hit that subscribe button if you don't agree hit that subscribe button see you tomorrow Bye.